Hello, I hope you're well. Welcome to another video. Lots to talk about, including the Hat Man, Shadow People, uh, Spacecraft, all sorts of going back in time, all sorts of things to talk about today uh, that I've been shown. And oh, I'm getting spiritual interference as well with spirit interference with spiritual communication and downloads going to light workers. Okay, just before I came on here to talk to you, my head started a oh, it's aching. I've been getting headaches around this area and around here. And if you do that, you know, it may be just a headache, or you know, you may be not feeling well, so you know, get yourself checked out uh, by a doctor or whatever if you need to. But I um, closed my eyes because I went like that with my pain, I could see images. Oh, I really don't want to say that. So they've just shown me an image of the Third Reich. That's nice. I don't know what that's about. And they said as well before I came on, the tide is rising. Everything is about water. So, yes, lots to talk about. Uh, very strange experiences with water as well. I do believe alien craft are under there. There's something very, very strange. I just... I'm... I'm going to do what they've asked me to do and talk about what I see and they'll give me extra bits of information right the way through. So try and tune in. I'm going to make it shorter than the last one. Uh, sometimes I get too long in my opinion, but there's so much to get out. So I will, uh, you know, do my best here. Uh, if you're um, on TikTok, please give, give me a follow and follow me on YouTube as well because you get more information. Uh, I've, I've just done more video. I've got hundreds of videos on there of uh, things that have happened to me and all about the men in black angels. Think of them as like this secret service. <laughs> they dress up like that and they guard me. So if you want to know more about that and why they're doing that, then please check out the other videos on YouTube. Massive thank you to all of my new followers on TikTok. Wow, I, I'm really honoured. I can't, I can't believe people are following me on there. And more on youtube as well and doing both thank you so much i really do appreciate it because the algorithm on youtube gives me a bloody hard time it just will not carry me very much at all it tends to at christmas a bit more but pff, that's it it just won't move and i want it to move i don't know why i'm doing that but i want it to move uh so thank you very much that'd be great you know great if you could do that why I feel like somebody has moved along there and stood me behind me. Oh, that's because somebody's coming down here. Hello, sorry about that. Yes, there was somebody who came down the steps and at the door. That was quite unnerving. A uh, very strange experience when I was having my um, meditation vision. So it showed me uh, sitting over there before. I could see Scry into the blank TV. And I, my son was standing over there doing various things. And it was almost like this, they, all of these people were in the room. And it was like they were just, at, he was walking in between them all and through them. He couldn't see them or anything. But his image and face changed. Everything about him changed as he walked through them. And it was almost like he was somebody else. So whether that was a spirit over the over him or it was actually what he looked like really in the spirit world uh, i don't know i'm a little bit confused about that at the moment i uh, will see next time uh but it was very interesting we had a lot of the people watching again let let me finish my uh spiel uh as well i'm trying to remember where i was after that interruption uh sorry about that um Ah, I can't remember. Anyway, but thank you for the follows and the, uh, yeah, for supporting the channel. If you would like uh, to have a personal reading, somebody there, they flashed on, part of them flashed, you know, I call them flashes, <laughs> on and off there for a second. If you'd like a personal reading, I'm doing 15 minutes. Uh, tell, why did I say 10 minutes? I'm not doing 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Um, half an hour and an hour okay i'm also now because uh somebody talked to me about this i'm doing the psychic development coaching mentorship 
uh, if you're interested in that. I do one session and I do uh, packages. Same for, um, I'm now doing spiritual counselling as well. Counselling, why did I say counselling? More coaching. Uh, if, if you're interested in anything like that to help you with your awakening, whatever, check that out. I also do angel communication, mentorship, coach, strike, strike. Oh my God, my words coming out funny. Every time I channel, it just goes insane. Um, or coaching, whatever you want to call it, really. Uh, I will show you how to do things and uh, get your own unique gifts to come out because this is all about self-empowerment. So that's all available. I also have a spiritual chat session if you want that. Uh, I can do all of these things by email as well. You do not have to go via Zoom. Uh, you can be coached by email, everything. Um, so let me know. But I can do spiritual chat. And if you want to book a session for that, you know, just to talk about the videos or your own beliefs or experiences that you've had, uh, let me know. Okay. All in, all in the description. So yeah, Hatman as well. Yeah, I see. I saw a lot of shadow people, but I, I was seeing giant faces. Now, spirit can do this. They can make themselves big. They can do that in the sky. They can do it wherever. Okay, these giant faces. And one of them didn't seem to be very nice, but I think they were trying to show me about this uh, secret society or whatever it is that's trying to uphold all the um, the way um, everything's been for a long time. OK, and they don't want us evolving uh, and going into a more positive light. It's it's almost like they keep us stuck in a loop uh, and being told round and round and round. And at the moment, I was told the other day, this is 1939. It's 2024, but everything that's happening now, which is obvious, obvious in a lot of contexts from the, you know, um, what's going on in the news, politics, everything. But this is 1939. OK, we've been brought to that point again, late 1939. I've just said it's too late to change. I don't know what that means, but uh, I don't think it's too late. I think that's a, a question for you. Is it too late to change? Can we change things about before it heads off into another world war let's be honest because there's so much there are so many little triggers being positioned and ready to go off because that's what this lot want this secret society this whatever this coven this from other dimensions i do think and i right okay so uh, this is what i get and this is what i believe is their way of showing me that spell work's trying to come in but it's like somebody from you i seen to these other dimensions just behind there has thrown a sword and it's gone whew, right the way through i sent a load of uh spell work and stuff back i did return to sender and it just comes in again and they remove it from me there is also people messing with my mood and making me feel a bit angry at times quite frankly so uh as if i need the help but you know um right so in the corner there we have something that looks like very skeletal in a face like that i don't know oh, i don't know what that is i'm not sure that was a door banging by the way outside um Alien, very alien type. Ah, I don't want that coming here. Oh my, it's like they walk like that. A lot about skeletons at the moment. A lot about skeletons. Something rising from the dead. And it's very interesting. I had, um, a, um, what do you call it? I had a reading and it was talking about a part of me that was coming alive that had been frozen that had been mummy mummified now i have links to egypt all of that stuff and they've shown me wrapped in bandages before being dropped somewhere and then they're unbandaging me and the other thing and this really rang me 
you see these people's faces and they're moving around and everything. They get a bed and they move this bed around or I'm on a um, stretcher of some sort or whatever. And, or I'm being taken out for coffin and, and woken up. And I have had some strange feelings of feeling very down and um, wondering at times if I'm dying because some of the things I see are so intense. And I always remember what my uncle said when uh, he was dying in hospital about how he could see all these beautiful, vivid colours. It was like Arabian night. And sometimes I wonder if you see things like, you know, really intensely before you die. Don't take that as gospel. That's just an opinion. And it? because somebody had experienced it, it could be rubbish, but uh, it's just on your experience of life. But it made me wonder. And I've asked several times for about a couple of years now, am I dying? Because I can see all of these things and i am absolutely convinced that sometimes i am sitting in a spacecraft or i'm i have a foot here and i have a foot over there it's bizarre because when they come in it's very intense there is it's i can see out this window for spacecraft the other day i had a sensation of being somewhere um and looking up at uh the the water underneath the water at the top of the water, you know what I'm talking, the surface, okay, and then it was reversed the other way. But in this reading, a uh, lady was saying that it was uh, a part of me that was coming alive. Some part of me was dying off and I may feel like I'm dying. And I've really felt that intensely for the last few days. And it's all about something dying off and something being reborn that is needed to be here. She was talking about teleportation to spacecraft and everything. I was like, oh my, my, my. But that's that kind of thing. It's like part of me um, is coming alive. And I think it's, I've had to go through ego death or awakening, everything. And if I'm talking about this, it's, you could be going through a very similar thing. It'll resonate with somebody out there. So that has been very intense uh, for me. And they keep showing me lying on a bed and then they're waking me up. And I look up the other day, I could see lines and lines of bed and beds with people in. And they were lying asleep and then they were waking up. So it's just all about awakening, opening your eyes, seeing what's there in the world. I'm going to have to write it all down now. I've been, um, I'm being pushed that way to write it down. So, um... I'm getting lots of feels like little stabby things around me. Oh, that hurts. That's uncomfortable. Stop, please. So, I've just heard the 39 Steps, which is a book about the um, steps in the um, in Big Ben, isn't it? Big Ben? The 39 Steps. I've forgotten the name. Um, isn't the character Honey? Oh gosh, I can't even remember who read it. Um, I love the uh, black and white movie of it. Oh, maybe that's what they're referring to as well. The black and white movie. Richard Honey, isn't it? Um, the 39 Steps. Now that was done in the late 30s. And it was about secrets being taken. So whether or not there's something about secrets being revealed, exposed. Application of secrets. I don't know what they're talking about. They're talking about a prelude to a war, to World War Two. And I see a lot to do with World War Two. I was, keep seeing Churchill all over. Uh, but that's what now I believe that's what the hat man is uh, working for. Um, this is just my personal opinion. Lots of you will have different versions of it. Shadow people, they are part of this interdimensional um, effort to keep us where we are because it suits them. But we are trying to evolve and move on and that's being blocked. And the more people that wake up and see. So a lot of you, if you're watching this, you may have seen the hat man. I know I'm talking to some people who have. Or you may be going to, I've seen, I'm not scared of you, 
I ain't scared of any of them, quite frankly. There's something to do about witches and a coven as well that I always get trying to send in stuff. I saw this big face and he had his hand and he was plucking up something and it was uh, a witch on a broom. Uh, so I don't know if they weren't, you know, being insulting, whoever they were, or what they were trying to show. Because I do, I'm getting a lot of interference as I get downloads, uh, energetic interference. That's why I'm getting the headaches at the minute. So I'm, I'm again, I've got a lot of eye strain. I've been doing a lot of computer work, but uh, it's very interesting when I sit down to have these downloads come in and see all these images and these people, these thousands, millions of people standing there watching and being involved and showing me things um physically it's like i get this pressure on my head uh they keep putting a crown on it bless them um <laughs> god help them if they think oh my queen fell them somewhere because i mean hell <laughs> but um but they keep putting this on my hair i had to hold this orb now this orb it's really weird i do did a drawing of the window the other day and uh, that i see on this spacecraft all these people, lots of military, lots of navy. There's something to do with the water and the oceans. Now, whatever it is, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen in the Black Sea. Everything is going to be triggered from the Black Sea. And I've been saying this from, for a few years now. Great sea battle. Um, but uh, I feel sick. Sorry, I would just feel really sick. I can feel every, this tension that... I wanted to say my FND, but it wanted to be FBI. So I don't know if there's something about the FBI knowing something that they shouldn't. And they're about to expose something major. Secrets are to be exposed. Something to do with the FBI. So I, I don't know. A political trait will be exposed. The FBI is not finished yet. Don't shoot the messenger. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to be involved. I'm in the UK here. I've got enough going on here. Um, <laughs> so, can I get the hammer? Right? So, I, I can't remember what I was saying. I'm channeling fast. They're giving me information within the information I'm trying to give to you. So, I'm all, a bit all, all over the place. But, uh, I don't know this these witches uh, there's a coven that sends a spell work to me there's one witch in particular uh, she's very strong a woman and it keeps being sent back i send it back but they won't stop and they are putting obstacles on my path all the time they're being cleared boom 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 so you may be having that experience if you're a light worker star seed whatever you're doing yeah chosen ones and this hat man is around does it there's this et guy this person who's masquerade as an et guide and they um let me see how far or how long it would take me to work it out correct some somebody keeps shape shifting over there into different things there's interference coming in so be aware of that um but yes so this big thing and he's doing this that and the other then what did he pick he was just doing that all the time but they keep asking for the witch's last line of defense to keep doing the protection spells for the world for the for crisis management at the moment to send out good vibes and help lift the vibration of the planet up and to protect gaia so that's a direct message from Archangel Michael and Archangel Metatron. So this guy with this big beard, I was told Moses. That's the other thing I'm having. I don't know if you can see. There's a lot of things here. They have um, a cross with Jesus on um, a crucifixion going round and round the top of my head. I'm feeling also, I feel tingly. Mm, we know what happens when... when when I get those feelings, something must be on the way. Something is about to be exposed. So, um, they will not speak again out of turn. They will be not be allowed to speak. 
such dangerous nonsense again. Beware the tides of time. Beware the battle that commences within your soul. Choose now. Choose the path of the right or the path of the wrong. Okay. Right. I'm going to tell you about this hat man before because I'm going to... Um, so he was standing there and I just said, I'm not frightened of you. I didn't see the red gorn eyes. I have seen him wandering around before. I've seen him a, a few times and I just, I sometimes they will allow me to see things and then they'll get thrown out. I have had a representative from that society, whatever it is in spirit, come to try and talk to me. And I mean, nothing works, but it still can be threatening, but I'm not frightened of him. Yes, I've got a heck of a lot of protection around me, definitely. But uh, nah. they're just people, you know. They're just people. Don't be, you know, frightened of what they show you in this, that and the other. You can manifest everything over there very quickly, okay. It's, but they're people at the end of the day, like you and I. Okay, and yeah, there's no, what, what did they say up north where I live? No, queerer than folk. Okay, <laughs> we know that and can be frightening. But it also takes away that um, frisson of, oh, this could be something so powerful and I can't fight it. That, and like one of my medium friends said, uh, they're just a spirit without a body. Okay, so bear that in mind not to be too frightened of the paranormal that way and the they are people so you can stand up to people like that yeah so yeah uh very very odd but they're part of it i always wondered how he fitted in but yeah it's all part of it and um but i've had some very strange things a, a, a lot about jesus a lot about um ascended masters and i am being it's I get th I hear things like in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen, things like that. So I know I'm am I gonna go off and turn like Doreen Virtue and be pff, what the heck was that all about? Or anything like that. No. But this is where my grounding is. I keep saying this, I have Buddhas everywhere, I love Kali, everything, but I'm working for jesus ascended master so that's going to come in a little bit more but no am i going i'm not a preacher i'm not a hollies don't get the wrong idea but i am work working for jesus christ now jesus christ is the name for the same energy that embodies different names so it could be male female whatever okay so just insert your ascended master or your um higher self or your um religiously you know wh what you believe in there when i talk about about him okay because that's it's my grounding so uh it's coming in more and more um they're bringing more of god in uh, to me rather than the universe i'm very angry at the universe i'm very angry at god most of the time i have to say but my faith is very very strong as in because even be in anger it's like i'm talking all the time and i've been told that i have this connection with god the universe it's a direct oh my god they're taking over direct source <sighs> direct link with source and i feel quite emotional when i'm saying that i'm speaking for on God's behalf. Oh, all right, okay. Oh, it's, it's always getting weird, isn't it? Um, yeah, I know a lot of people say that, oh, I speak on it and then go on the preaching. But I found that quite difficult because I have been odds with God for a long time. But I see on be behalf of God, I am giving information to God. I'm getting direct channel. I am here on behalf of God. All right, okay. Well, they're going tonight, and there's one of those little balls over there. Is that the Palladians in there? <laughs> little balls. These little balls, the foot 
go around everywhere and see them. Yeah, it's all right there. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. So there you go. There you have it. And I have it. Um, and I, it's time I came out and said that and asserted myself. Apparently. <laughs> oh, sorry then. It's them. Don't you think it's them? <laughs> so uh, things are going to going to be moving along in that vein but never we are religious fluid here we are gender fluid we are everything fluid yeah well you know what i mean um anything goes yeah so and anyone goes okay so always remember that uh because i can't change that aspect of me either so but that's okay i have to make that clear now apparently it's time okay i'm gonna leave it there <laughs> If you would like personal reading, as I say, or you would like a uh, mentorship with your psychic medium development, or you would uh, like some spiritual counseling, just a chat, um, or angel communication, there is going to be something else I'm going to offer, apparently. And I've got to write this book too. So, uh, yeah, a lot going on. But I have to bear witness and, and show you there are a lot of soldiers, a lot of Navy people. I even saw um all time um American Navy guy with a little hat and um the English one who the one of them guards me, he is pristine. Everything about him is so polished. And he stands there because he, he was quite problems, okay. But he was re he's really pristine. He's submariner correct submariner and he um start, i say a lot to do about submarines which usually means stealth a lot about the water and i forgot to tell you about another plane that they dragged out of the water that had been on the water and hidden for a very long time um and on was on the beach they pulled it out so that's symbolism for something and it's to do with me something coming out of me and uh, just putting a cross here that is but i feel very emotional i don't understand um but you know we're on this journey together we'll we'll see how it all goes so um yeah uh what, what else did i want to tell you before i went that's about waterfall them standing in water the mib standing in water waterfalls and a lot of people in white robes and i still swear i saw mary again i don't know but uh very odd a lot of mystical experiences i see jesus christ all the time and mary now i'm not catholic my dad was catholic well he is catholic my dad's catholic um and that's the only catholic person in life <laughs> we were a mixture of everything <laughs> so not that you have to be catholic see mary of course but uh and then angels i did see moses i have had moses around the big bearded guy stuff and oh it's it's just wild it's wild it's just and i hope i am inspiring you opening you up to your own mystical experiences okay take care of yourselves and as i say uh, please follow, please subscribe on YouTube. Please, you know, do both. It'd be great so we can get these messages out. People need to say that there is so much more to this world than uh, they think there is. And because that will help this world evolve. Send out positive vibes. Take care of yourselves and um, I shall see you later. <laughs>